हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द आर्म इज रोटेटिंग एट अ रेट ऑफ थीटा डॉट इक्वल्स टू फोर रेडियन पर सेकेंड वैन द एंगुलर एक्सलेशन दैट इज थीटा डबल डॉट इज थ्री रेडियन पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर एंड थीटा इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री सो वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द फोर्स that the arm must exert on the 0.5 kg smooth cylinder if it is confined to move along the slotted path and further it is said that the motion occurs in the horizontal plane so if the motion occurs in the horizontal plane then the weight is going to act towards the screen so first of all i will define my coordinate system that is uh, since we are solving this problem by using the cylindrical coordinates so we have to define our cylindrical coordinates so the radial direction is acting in this direction that is away from the center point so this is the radial direction and the is theta is increasing in this direction so the positive theta direction will be in the uh in the increasing theta direction right so the theta is increasing in the counter clockwise direction so this is our uh positive theta direction and the z axis is, is into the screen or we can say that it is into the plane of uh, this free of this diagram right so the weight is going to act towards the screen so this is our theta direction and then uh, since we know that the tangent drawn to the path at this particular instant will make an angle theta um, will make an angle with the radial direction and that angle is known as psi angle so this is if i draw the tangent at this particular instant to this path so this will be our tangent and this must be making an angle with the radial direction and that angle is represented by psi and as we have learned in theory that tan psi i can write that tan psi is equal to r divided by dr by d theta so we can find the angle of the tangent with the radial direction using this equation so as we are given this radius as a function of theta so then we have to find the value of r when theta is equal to 180 degrees so as this r is a function of theta so we can write that r is uh, we can write that this is 2 theta to the power minus 1 if i bring this to the to the numerator so theta the theta power will become negative so that is 2 theta to the power minus 1 and now if you want to find the radius when theta is 180 degree so we have to put theta equals to 180 in this equation so 2 into 180 to the power minus 1 and we cannot put 180 degrees directly we have to convert it into radians right so we need to get the radius in meters so 180 degrees is equal to pi radians right so i will write it as pi so this is let me put is it is pi so now we can find it using so 2 into pi to the power minus 1 so the radius is equal to we can write that the radius when theta is equal to 180 degrees is equal to 0.637 meters 0.637 meters similarly uh, if i take the derivative of r with respect to theta so dr by d theta and this will be uh, 2 and minus theta to the power minus 2 if we take the derivative of theta to the power minus 1 so we will get this and this will be equal to 2 and minus and theta is pi to the power minus 2 so 2 we can say that this is minus 2 pi to the power minus 2 so dr by d theta is minus uh, 0.203 so minus uh, 0.203 so now if i put both of these values in this equation or we can write that let me write 10 inverse so psi equals to 10 inverse of this ratio so i can write that psi uh, 10 inverse and radius when theta is equal to 180 degrees is 0.637 and 
डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो थ्री सो टेन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस टू जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो थ्री सो दिस गिव्स अस माइनस सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट थ्री टू एंगल माइनस सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट थ्री टू फोर डिग्रीज so now the negative sign indicates that the psi is measured from the radial direction in the clockwise direction so this is that angle so this is that tangent line and it is making 72.324 degrees with the radial direction now the normal force which this which this slotted path will apply on this uh, and this cylinder will be perpendicular to the tangent so let's say that this is that normal force and similarly the arm will apply the force on this cylinder in the direction in the direction of theta so that will be this will be the direction of that force which the arm applies on this uh, cylinder so we we need to re, uh, determine this force f and again i have told you people that since uh, this cylinder is revolving in the horizontal plane so the weight will be acting towards the screen so that will not be shown in our diagram since this a uh, 2 uh, 2d diagram but you people need to know that the weight is acting towards the screen now uh, we can apply the equation of motion but before that we need to resolve this normal force into its components along the radial and theta direction so for that we need to know the angle of the of this normal with the radial direction or with the theta direction so we have to find its angle so now as we can see that uh, this normal is perpendicular to that tangent and this theta axis is, is perpendicular to this radial axis so the angle between the tangent and the radial axis is psi so this means that the angle between the theta and the normal direction is also psi so this is psi angle as well so now we know the angle of this normal force with theta direction so we can resolve this normal force into its components it will have two components one of its component will be acting in this direction this one will be the cos component this is we can write that this is an cos of psi and similarly one of its component will be acting towards the negative radial direction so this is an sin of psi so now if i apply the equation of motion now if i apply the summation of forces along the along the radial direction equals to m a r so as we can see that this sin component of n is acting in the negative r so i will write minus n sin of psi and psi is 72.324 72.324 the negative sign only tells us the sense of the direction right so we have to put it as uh, 72.324 and this will be equal to since there is no other force in the radial direction so this will be equal to the mass and the mass of the cylinder is 0.5 times ar so let's say this is our equation 1 now if we apply the summation of forces along the theta direction so that will be equal to m a theta and as we can see that this force f is acting in the positive theta direction so i will write plus f and this cos component of n is acting in the negative theta direction so i will write minus n cos of psi and psi is again 72.324 and this will be equal to 0.5 times a theta so this is equation 2 now to find this n and f we have to find ar and a theta we can use the equation from uh, from kinematics so now these are the ar and a theta equations that we have learned in the previous chapter so i will use these equations so in these equations we need to have the values of r theta double dot that is the derivative of r with respect to time uh, and theta dot so we are given that we are given that theta theta dot is 4 radian per second in the problem statement it is given 
similarly theta double dot is 3 radian per second square and theta we already know that this is 180 degrees or pi let me write it here theta is 180 degrees or it is equal to pi radians and now as we know that r is uh, 2 theta to the power minus 1 so if I take the derivative of this r with respect to time, so that will be dr by dt and this we represent it as r dot. So this will become minus 2 theta to the power minus 2 and since theta is also the function of time, so we have to apply the chain rule. So that will be equal to theta dot as well. So minus 2 theta to the power minus 2 theta dot. And similarly, if we take one another derivative with respect to time, so it will become our double dot. And then we have to apply the product rule. So theta to the power minus 2 and one another derivative of theta dot, that will become theta double dot plus theta dot and the derivative of theta to the power minus 2. So that is uh, minus 2 theta to the power minus 3 and theta dot. So this r double dot is equal to minus 2 theta to the power minus 2 theta double dot minus 2 theta to the power minus 3 and theta dot square. Now we need to find these values of r r double dot uh, r r dot r double dot when theta equals to uh, pi radians. So now I have to put r and this is pi th this is 2 pi to the power minus 1 so we already know that r is 0 0.637 similarly we can put that pi is minus 2 and this is pi to the power minus 2 and theta dot is 4 so i have to write 4 so now we can find this using calculator so this is minus 2 into pi to the power minus 2 into 4 so r dot is minus 8 r dot is minus uh, 0 0.811 and this is meter per second similarly r double dot we can put values in this equation so from this we can write that r double dot is minus 2 and theta is again pi to the power minus 2 and theta double dot is 3 radian per second square. So this is 3 minus 2. Again, this is pi to the power minus 3. And theta dot is 4. So this is 4 square. So our double dot is minus 2 into, uh, we can write that 3, 3 into pi to the power minus 2 and minus this is 2 into 4 square so 2 2 into 4 square into pi to the power minus 3 so this is our double dot is 1.456 1.456 and this is meter per second square so now as we have determined all these, so we, we will be using these equations to find a r and a theta. So now a r is, I can write that a r is r double dot value. So r double dot is 1.456 minus r. So r value is, as we have determined that the r value is 0 0.637 meters. This is 0 0.637. So 0 0.637 into theta dot square and theta dot is 4, so 4 square. So we can find AR, AR is 1.456 minus 0 0.637 into 4 square. So AR is minus 8.736, AR is minus 8.736 meter per second square. Similarly, using this equation, we can find a theta. 
so I will do it and calculate it directly. So R theta double dot. So R is again 0 0.637, 0 0.637. Theta double dot is 3 plus 2 mm, and R dot is the R dot value is mi minus 0 0.811, so minus 0 0.811 into theta dot and theta dot is 4. So a theta comes out to be minus 4.577, minus 4.577 meter per second square. Now we know a r and a theta, we can use this equation 1 and 2. So if I use equation 1, so we can find that n value. So from equation 1, we can write that minus n sine of 72.34 and this is equal to 0 0.5 AR and AR is uh, minus 8.736 and if I divide both sides by si minus sine of 72.34 so we will get that normal force value which the slotted path applies on this cylinder so 0 0.5 into minus 8.736 divided by minus sine of 72.34. So this gives us n equals to 4.584. So n equals to 4.584 Newtons. So the slotted path applies the normal force of magnitude equals to 4.58 Newtons in, in this direction and the direction of this n is uh, this n is perpendicular with the tangent and it is making that psi angle with the theta direction. Now we can find the f value using the second equation. So from second equation we can say that f is equal to, so I have to bring this to the other side of equation. So this is 0 0.5 and we know a theta which is minus 4.577 um, and this will become plus. So plus n and n is 4.588. 584 cause of 72.324. So this is 0 0.5 minus 4.577 plus 4.584 cause of 72.324. So this is minus 0 0.897 minus 0 0.897 Newton. Now the minus sign indicates that we have to reverse the direction of the assumed force. So this means that the actual force that the arm applies on this cylinder is in the negative theta direction. So we have to reverse this direction. This is the actual direction of that force which is applied by the arm. So we have to reverse this f direction, right? And this is that force f which is which is going to, ap to act in the negative theta direction. And this f magnitude is 0 0.897 newtons. And similarly, this uh, the normal force magnitude is 4.584 newtons. So this is the required solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.